Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an empties for December. I know it's a little bit late, but mom life and life happened. So we are going to talk about my empties and as you can see my empties bin is rather empty. So yeah, I didn't finish that much in December. I really thought I could do better. <laughs> But apparently it wasn't meant to be and that is totally fine. I have decluttered a few items in December that I don't want to bring into 2021. I'm just going to trash them because they are really old or they don't work for me or have dried up and etc. I'm going to talk about those in this video as well. So, empties and declutters for December. Here we go. And he is joining us. So... You get a lot of Felix at the moment when I film like this and I don't really mind. <laughs> the first product that I have used up is a body lotion and this is the, the Body Shop British Roche Body Yogurt. 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 There's so much fluff. I hope you can't see that on camera. I really really enjoyed this. The consistency and formula of a body yogurt from the body shop is really really nice actually that is one of my new favorite kind of lotions i do love the body butter for my legs but for my arms that aren't dry at all and a body butter can't um, get into my arms what is called my arms doesn't absorb a body butter but a body yogurt is so light it is perfect for my arms so i really really like this in the end i mixed it with some body shimmers because I wanted to use that up, but I gave up <laughs> last month. In November, I gave up on that one so that I, I have decluttered that since. I have one more in my bin here because I just don't want to use those anymore. I, I don't like them. I don't think I will buy this scent again. Maybe I will do the mango, which I love so much. Maybe I will do that one again. But British Rose is not my favorite. It's just not. The other skincare item that I have used up in December and the last skincare item <laughs> it is the body shop the drops of youth youth concentrate and this is a serum I adore this serum this is so nice my skin absorbs this like water it is so nice I tend to break out of some skincare items but this one is a winner all the time it took quite a long time to use up I don't remember it taking that long. I got this and the British Rose uh, body yogurt in uh, Evan calendar last year, so in 2019. So like two years ago. <laughs> um, and I'm really excited to have used this up, but I do miss it. It is a really good serum. It is expensive, but it is totally worth the money. So I will consider getting this again because I did buy it once uh, before I got it in an advent calendar a long time ago but it just this just confirms that it is really really good and it even comes with a dropper which is really nice so you don't have to pour it out in the end I did pour it out in, into my palms no baby girl don't wake up okay I will get back to filming okay I think we're good. <laughs> oh, crisis. <laughs> okay, I have two makeup products that I've used up that I can put into that bag right there of my makeup that I've used up in 2020. Okay, the first one, I don't believe I have talked about this powder. If I have talked about it, I will just remove it from the video. <laughs> I have used up the W7 Selfie Powder. This was an amazing powder. I really, really love this one. But I don't think you can buy it anymore, at least not in the stores in Denmark. It was a blue-ish powder. It was, it was transparent when you got it on your face, but it was a kind of intimidating because it was blue. Um, like a light blue color, not something extreme. Um, but yes, I did feel like it did what it is supposed to do. It says here it is going to brighten up your skin for the perfect selfie. I do think it brightened up my face so it looked more even and it did mattify me and everything like that so you can get, 
get some good pictures. I have used powders that does something similar, so if I can't get this again, it is totally okay. <laughs> but it was a really, really good powder and I enjoyed every time I used it. In the end, yeah, I really like to set my concealer with it, so I also um, repressed it in the summertime with something else that I use for my under eyes. Um, and it was the perfect concealer setting shade kind of thing. You can see that I have used it a lot <laughs> because of the print on it. This is supposed to be like that. Okay, then we have my liquid eyeliner. I might have said in my uh, Finish 20 in 2020 that I was going to use this every single time I wore makeup until the end of the year. And then I was going to declutter it, but I have actually used it up because it is empty. I can't get an even line. It is kind of dry, but not really. I have it all the way, always setting upside down for the eyeliner part, like this part here. So I know it is done because it's not dry dry. It's not dried out. Yeah, this is the W7 Love Line eyeliner. I really enjoyed this. This had an amazing tip on it. It stayed on my eyes, it, it didn't move around or transfer or anything like that. And the other end here has this stamp on it that is formed like a heart. I have no idea if you can see that. But I didn't use that at all. And yeah, that is just not my thing to stamp stars and hearts and stuff like that on my face. For the makeup that I'm going to declutter, I have seven, seven items here. Four items I'm really sad to say goodbye to, but the other three I'm not really sad at all because I don't like them and I don't miss them, I don't want to use them. So they are just better off in the trash can <laughs> because they are old and bad and no one will love them. I don't believe. I just talked about how I mixed in this kind of lotion into uh, my body yogurt. And it is another shade of this. This one is called Beach Babe Bronze. And it is from the W7 Life of Beach Beach Body Contour Sculpting Body Cream line. I decluttered the uh, Golden Go Golden Goddess, I think it was called. The Another shade that I was working on for 2020. This one I'm going to declutter. I have used it once maybe just to swatch it. I am not going to use this and this is really really dark and I don't want to wait until the summertime and I don't want to use this. I rather just prioritize my sun lotion over this because if I put this on and then sun lotion on top it doesn't really work that way. Um, and <laughs> I, and it doesn't do anything for my skin other than giving it, it giving it like a shine and g glitter basically. It's like a glitter bomb. If you put this on your arms, you will have it on your hands and you need to wash your hands anyway and it's just a mess. I don't want to deal with it so this is just going into the trash because I don't want anyone else to uh, get this. <laughs> and it's old. It's like Four, five, year, four years old now. This one was also an item that I wanted to declutter by the end of the year if I didn't use it and I didn't. This is a BB cream that I bought in Japan when I went there in 2018 with my friends and John. I have hair everywhere. Stop that. And basically the only reason that I bought this was because I ran out of my foundation when we were there and I needed something because at that point I really needed to cover my face because I thought I had a lot of acne. <laughs> um, I Acne, pimples, right? Scars. And I had a great tan that summer, like a really great tan. I never got that tan again. I never... <laughs> I never got that bronze so I can match this and this is so yellow toned. Apparently I was really yellow toned because it did match me when we were in Japan. I haven't really used it since. I have tried to use it for like one or two months uh, in the summertime in 2019 I believe. Or was it? Yeah, 2019 in my 100% um, Mission Culture Free Project Pan. Mission 100% Culture Free Project Pan. 
that was it it's a really long name i tried to pen this in the beginning of that project and it didn't work out i never got that turn that summer and i just rolled it out because i didn't want to use it i didn't want to force myself and i really don't want to and it has never smelled good it has never smelled good and it is not culture free so i don't really see the point of me hanging on to it I'm just going to declutter it and put it in the trash. Something that I just decluttered on a whim when I was going to get those two products because it was in the same uh, drawer. This is the W7 Touch and Go Blemish Concealer Pencil. I don't like this. This does nothing to cover my pimples, blemishes uh, or scars or anything like that. It's really thick and it's hard. It has never really been good. And look at that color. That will never match me. This is so yellow. It's like the same kind of yellow as the foundation. So when that at some point wants to match me, I can use this. But at that point, I'm not going to use this because this is so hard. It's not creamy and it has never been creamy. So it's not because it is older. It's like three or four years old, uh, three years I think. I don't, I don't want to use it. I gravitate for my pot concealers or a liquid concealer. I don't even use my pot concealers right now, so maybe I should just declutter, declutter those as well. But this one is just going bye bye because I don't want to use it. Um, I, yeah, it's even broken in the bottom. Let's talk about these three liquid liners. I'm so so sad. I'm, do I'm going to declutter these even though they don't seem expired to me but I just know they are really old. They are like four years old. They were some of the first products that I got when I was an W7 ambassador through um, a chain in Denmark that sells W7 and they needed some someone to promote some of their stuff uh, for W7 and I was chosen for one of those. I was really lucky and I really missed those time. It was really, really fun. But yes, I got these uh, liquid liners then and I am really tempted to buy them again because they're really, really good. Um, sometimes they do burn your skin if you get really close to it in a corner, but that is the only time really when they they burn. And I do this because they don't really, they it goes away. Um, it, and it, it's not because they are hurting your eyes. This is called iridescent and it is the lighter one <laughs> and it has a green tint to it. I wore it on top of my black eyeliner for New Year's and the silver one is called Glam Bam. They are so beautiful and I have used like half of them. They are all like halfway done. Um, so I feel really good about just decluttering them. So this has been my favorite way to use glitter. I'm not really a glitter using person, but when I want to use glitter, I really gravitate towards these ones. So iridescent, glam band and glitzy. Glitzy is the gold one. The last thing in this empties and declutters video is going to be my L'Oreal black gel liner because when I went back to, uh, to using this in like the beginning of December, it was totally dried out. I don't blame it for drying out because I got it in like mm, 2014 I want to say for my birthday from one of my friends in high school. So yeah, just before the six year mark it dried out and I think that is rather good. So I'm really really happy that I got so much use out of it in 2020 because I used most of this up. I hit pan in like 2019 and then the entire rim I used up in 2020. I'm really tempted to call this done and count it for my empties but just because I worked so hard on it this year or last year. Oh, that's annoying. I did count the perfume for my makeup empties because that is what I have always done even though it's not part of my makeup inventory. But this one, I'm so sad that this is not done. Look at it. Look how little I have left. So annoyed. So that is everything that I have for you guys in this empties and declutters for December. I'm really excited for the new year and hopefully I can get back into panning and using up my beauty products like consistently and just use them consistently. That would be really nice. Today is the second day in a row that I'm wearing makeup and I feel 
really really good about that before i ramble on too much about mom life that some of you really don't care about i'm going to wrap up the video and i hope you guys are going to follow along uh, on my pretty pants that I'm going to start. You have seen my Panda Palette uh, intro for 2021 because I have just uploaded it when I was sitting here and filming. I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, I hope you are going to take care of yourself and I will see you then. Bye!